hi guys welcome to today's video so in today's uh, tutorial we're going to be using this yarn so i went ahead and cut it to the length that i wanted it to be and i wanted it to be about 29 inches as you can see from the video and i will go ahead and start with braiding the back so guys at the back i'm going to do braids as you guys can see i'm going to do two lines just because i want the back part of my hair to have a little bit of volume So I'm done braiding the back part and we're going to go ahead and start the main main business of doing the corners now. So I'm going to start by parting the hair in the middle of my head. I'm going to be separating the hair into two equal parts. Then after separating the hair, I'm going to go ahead and put half of the hair away using a ribbon as you guys can see in the video. I always start doing my corners from the middle so that's exactly what I'm doing right now I'm just putting the middle corner that I'm going to start with this one gives me a guide on how I'm going to do the rest of the corners because um, if you guys know if you've done corners before you know that there's that problem where when you reach on the last part of the corner you no longer have enough hair at the back so that's what I always try to prevent when I'm uh, braiding corners. So I always make sure that I start from the middle so that I'll be given a proper, proper guide. So once I'm done with parting, I'm going to go ahead and put the other side of the hair in using a tie. Yeah, so for this tutorial, I'm going to be using red one hair wax. So I'm going to be putting on the lines, as you guys can see. This one prevents those small, small flyaways that are down. There's small hairs that are like just growing down and this helps you to just get a neat corner. So I'll be putting the hair wax on both sides of the line. Guys, I did this first corner off camera because I had a little bit of trouble with it. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how I did the rest of the corners. Showing you guys the detailed steps that I took when doing these corners. So guys, when I'm braiding my hair, I always have a big mirror in front of me so that I'll be able to see the lines clearly. Another tip that helps me with getting straight lines is using a sharp rattle comb yeah so i'll do the same thing that i did i'm going to add some hair wax to the line after doing that i'm going to remove a small portion of the hair as you can see in the video then i'll start doing the corner i'm not going to start adding the extension just now because i want the corners to look as though that's my hair so i'll start adding the the yarn later as i braid and there's no specific amount of time that i braid before i start adding the yarn so i just start adding the yarn when i see that okay it's necessary now then i'm going to be adding two strands of yarn each time so guys i'm not going to add the next strands of yarn immediately after the first time because as i said i want these braids to look as natural as possible like i want it to look as though i'm just using my natural hair so yeah after some time i'm going to add another two strands of yarn i'm going to repeat the same process of adding the hair in intervals about three or four times until i reach the end of the corners at the back then i'm going to add some more hair at the back so that the corner won't be like very thin
i hope you guys are enjoying watching the video and i hope you guys are learning something i hope you've learned one or two things so far so i also wanted to find out something from you guys if you guys prefer the videos with a voiceover explaining how to go about the tutorial or maybe you guys prefer the videos without the voiceovers the videos that just have uh some music in the background you can let me know in the comment section like which one you guys prefer and i'm going to deliver all right guys so i'm going to repeat the same process everywhere as i'll be finishing the rest of the head so i'm going to leave you now and i'll be back once i'm done with braiding the whole head
Okay, guys, so I'm done braiding the corners, and this is how we are looking. So beautiful, they've come out so nice. And the thing remaining right now is finishing the ends of the hair, which is what I'm doing right now. So I fast forwarded it so that it won't take so much time. After finishing the ends, I'm going to accessorize using these clear beads. I got these ones on Shein so you can check them out. You're going to find them there. Then I'm going to put them using this thing that came with the beads. So when I finish inserting the beads in the braids, I'm going to go ahead and secure the ends by tying as shown. I'm going to repeat the same process to all the strands of yarn that are remaining. And after that, I'm going to cut the excess using my scissors. After I'm done cutting, I'm going to go ahead and seal the ends by burning them. You can actually dip your fingers in water to avoid getting burned. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do and we have reached the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video and this is how the ends look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share it to your friends who might find this video helpful. Don't forget to leave us a comment in the comment section below telling us how you find this video and don't forget to practice what you have learned. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.